Before coming to lab, each group has already been signed an additive to add to PG67-22. Before separating the, the original binder into containers, it will be added to the oven. Additives have already been selected, Sassavit, Evotherm, Advara, and Rejuvenator. Before coming to lab, a sample of PG6722 has been prepared for each group. Specific mass will be, will be pre-selected for, for you before coming to class. Once the additive has been added to the binder, use the high shear mixer for two minutes at 2500 RPMs to thoroughly mix the binder and the additive. Be sure to hold the, the canister with one hand and spin it around to thoroughly mix the sample. For the DSR test, use a 25 millimeter mold and pinch the container to pour it into the mold. For the rotational viscometer, fill the mold halfway up with asphalt binder. Once the RV has reached an initial temperature of 135 degrees Celsius, drop the tube into the machine and lower the spindle. The test will be ran for 10 minutes at a randomly selected speed between zero and 20 RPM if the torque it goes below 10%, raise the RPM. Make sure the spindle is fully covered once it, it is um, inserted inside the tube. And then we'll wait a few minutes until the temperature is still below 135 for the, for the asphalt before starting the testing. The first speed is 20 RPM. And as you can see, the torque is too high. So we'll stop the test and adjust the RPM to eight. And here the torque is above 10%, but is also not too high. When starting the test, start a timer and after one minute record the torque and make sure that the torque is always above 10%. If it falls below 10%, you have to stop and redo the test and repeat these steps for two and three minutes. While pouring the 25 millimeter mold, we're gonna go ahead and start the initial procedure for the DSR to do the grading ASHTO 315. For the description box, the lab section and group number will be entered. And for the sample box, each group will put in what additive they've been using. The second step is to preheat the lower and upper plate to 64 degrees Celsius for two minutes. For this step, we're gonna raise the plate to 60 millimeters and insert the sample.
Next, click continue on the computer, and that will lower the plate. Once the plate is lowered, some of the asphalt has come outside of the plates, so you need to trim the asphalt. Heat up the trimmer and trim around the asphalt, but you can only go around one side once. After trimming the sample, the, continue, the computer will ask you to continue. Click continue and this will raise the gap to one millimeter. The computer will next ask you to select the temperature and following the procedure, insert 70 degrees Celsius to measure the G star over sine delta. After 10 minutes of heating, the data will show the shear stress, shear strain, angular frequency, and G star over sine delta. And for G star over sine delta, we can see that the average is between 0 0.774 and 0 0.771. And we're looking at the graph. The minimum requirement is one kilopascal. And we can see that the G star sine delta falls under the one kilopascal. So this binder fails at 70 degrees Celsius.